we are sliding right into the warmer weather with these new Gymshark releases. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you read that title or saw this thumbnail, you would know we have a lot of Gymshark talking to do. We're gonna be going over some sizing updates from the previous Adapt Animal launch. We'll be going over some pieces you haven't seen on this channel yet. And we'll also be going over a couple new accessories they just dropped. Like these new sliders, for example. They're slides, not sliders. I keep calling them sliders. I got cheeseburgers on the brain. Now I'm pretty sure this is Gymshark's first go at footwear. I'm glad to see they're taking baby steps. Okay, we're starting with some slides first. Who knows, maybe they'll come out with some sneakers. Don't worry, I didn't wear this outside yet, so this is not disgusting. <laughs> but first, the moment has come, you guys. Your girl finally got a Gymshark discount code. <laughs> So my official Gymshark discount slash support code is Ashley G. If you use my code at checkout, it will save you 10% on all Gymshark orders. And again, it does help support this channel. I just wanna say real quick, before getting this code, I got a lot of girls DMing me, asking, what's your code? What is I said, I don't know yet, I have no clue. They say I'm gonna get one, I'm just waiting. A few of you guessed it, before I actually found out what the code was. So I'm a little impressed with you. <laughs> I had a girl actually say, is it Ashley G? Because I used it at checkout and it worked. I told her, look, I don't know for sure. I mean, I don't know any other Ashley G affiliated with Gymshark, but who am I to say? But it is Ashley G. So if you enjoyed this video, find it helpful, or would like to see future Gymshark videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. I know you guys have been seeing that new Limitless, huh? Have you? Have you been stalking Gymshark's website slash stories? They are coming out with a limitless collection that seems so up my alley, it's ridiculous. Just recently, I started wearing the older Apex collection. That collection to me was so underrated. I wish they came out with more pieces. And I'm happy to say this limitless collection, even though I don't have it in hand just yet, hopefully soon, it seems to be slightly mimicking the Apex collection. So I'm hoping it's similar materials and things like that. Stay tuned because I will have that review for you as soon as I get it. And thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Check out my measurements right here. I'll have them in the description box as well. Everything you see in today's video is already launched, <laughs> already on the website. So feel free to check them out. I'll have them each individually linked down below for your convenience. First and foremost, we need to chat about this Adapt Animal sizing. So if you guys recall from my last video, I reviewed the brand new Adapt Animal drop. I... A little bit disappointed, all right? The sizing was a little wonky. Not what I'm used to with the Adapt Collection. So traditionally, since the dawn of time, I have always been a true size small in the Adapt Collection. So the Adapt Animal, I would go with a size small legging, which fit flawlessly, and a size small sports bra, which would be a little tight up top here, but it fit the busts wonderfully. Now this last Adapt Animal launch, the leggings were very tight, to the point I couldn't really bend or move around. It sandwiched in my glutes, and it was pretty sheer. The sports bra, although improved, it wasn't as tight up top, it was actually much more comfortable to wear, had a ton of extra material in the front, making it look big and bunchy. So what I did this time around to test the sizing, I sized up my leggings to a medium and sized down my sports bra to an extra small. So let's start with the leggings. They fit so much better now. A size up is 100% the route I'm gonna have to take if they keep it consistent. They were easy to get up, they are not sheer. I can actually bend and move. Now it's starting to feel like the Adapt Animal I am used to. Just still minus that powdery polyamide that I oh so miss. <laughs> the only downfalls to sizing up for me is I did feel like there was a slight bit of extra material right above the glutes and the band was ever so slightly loose as well. In some overlap footage, I did wear these to the gym, you can see the band starts to gape ever so slightly. I do have to say the medium was a big improvement. At least I can move and bend and be comfortable and my glutes weren't smashed in like a damn pancake. Ironically enough, I got a camel toe. I don't get it. I never ever get camel toes in these leggings. The extra small sports bra, however, this bra was so rude to me. It was very insulting. It offended me quite a bit. So sizing down to an extra small in the sports bra, this was a no-go for me. I thought that sizing down would help eliminate the extra bunching and material underneath the bust. 
It did help with that a little bit. However, it was so freaking tight. It was like carrying the world on my shoulders. It hurt very much. So the second I put it on over my head, I was like, nope. And I had to just take it right off. This actually caused some pain. So whatever you do, don't size down. But hey, now we know. I feel like I could rest easy now knowing I've tried alternative sizes and I can come to a definitive conclusion. I would not size down in this bra. I would stick to my true size small, even though there's extra material underneath. Here's what I have to say about that. If we have similar measurements and you have a bigger bust, you might actually really benefit from that extra material. I feel like you'll be able to fill it out better. Here's how I'm going to solve the problem of the extra material. I'm either going to tuck the extra material under, which I did at the gym. It wasn't half bad. It looked a little funky, like you can tell what I was doing. <laughs> but I definitely think it was an improvement than just wearing it naturally how it's supposed to lay. My second option is to mix and match. I think I'm leaning towards this option a little bit more. So I actually grabbed an iceberg blue power sports bra. Did you see this iceberg blue color coming out? And it actually works so perfectly because this camo is thunder blue and iceberg blue combined. So this is a perfect mix. If the adapt animal bras hit or miss for you like it is right now for me, then I'm gonna do a little mixy. Now I don't know for sure whether Gymshark is Keeping these changes consistent, I don't know what the future holds with this collection. I did actually give them some feedback on the sizing. They're really nice and very receptive of my thoughts and ideas. So hopefully this sizing hiccup is just a little fluke. I wanna go over the Adapt Animal shorts real quick. I also sized up in these to a medium. Believe it or not, even though there's really good length to these, they are biker style. I still felt like there was a little bit of cinching around my lower quads. I personally felt like these shorts fit slightly snugger than the actual full length legging. I felt like the waistband fit a little more compressive. There wasn't as much extra material on the upper glute. These actually felt like my traditional size small. I was just looking at Gymshark's new releases and I was scrolling, you know, just downtime doing a whole lot of nothing. And all of a sudden, this blue caught my eye. This whole set, in fact. So much so that the model was wearing that set with this oversized blue t-shirt. This is the power t-shirt. I said, oh my God, I want that whole set. I did not know I wanted it until I saw it and then I knew that I needed it. So I've already reviewed the Power, nothing new here. If you're unfamiliar with the Power collection, it is not a seamless collection from Gymshark. Couple highlights, the bra. I absolutely love the fit of the bra. It is a very true to size, you can size down if you're in between. This sports bra reminds me of Gymshark's training V-neck that I I was so passionate about it, and then they stopped actually launching those pieces. You have two strap details. I think they're very flattering, especially if you've got cleavage to work with, they'll really highlight that cleavage nicely. There's a stitched ruching going right down the middle and a mesh backing. It is non adjustable, but boy, if this isn't such a comfortable bra. Now, even though if you've watched me for a while, the training bras were my all time favorite bras to mix and match within different collections. They were just perfect for me. Somebody who needed low support, they had a ton of those options. Now that they're really not coming out with training bras as much, at least I'm not seeing anything launching and I'm not hearing about them. This power bra has quickly become one of my favorite sports bras. These shorts are easily one of the most lightweight, breathable shorts that Gymshark has to offer at the moment. It's very low to moderate compression. It doesn't cinch in and cause unnecessary puffing around the waist and it's especially good to me around the thighs. There's no thigh cinching. It lays very flat and very comfortable. This short I'm a huge fan of. Now, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Gymshark scrunch because Whitney holds that title, but it's definitely a step up from the camo in my opinion. I think the only downfall to these shorts that I can think of is that they do give me the dreaded CT pretty badly. So I'd say in the power collection, very true to size, but if you're in between, I'd suggest sizing down. We have some cotton in this mix but it definitely is stretchy. There's a last stain in it. Now, what do we think of the branding on the back? Do we love the bold branding here? I have to say my opinion, at least it's not on the active wear. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's on a t-shirt, I feel like, okay, this is gonna be the statement of the set. This is gonna be the addition onto the set. Then you have the minimal shark face logo right on the front. I feel like massive branding is kinda on the outs now with active wear. You don't really see it much on sports bras, shorts, and leggings, but you do see it a lot on t-shirts. 
oversized fits, pump covers, and things like that. I think that's where the branding's taking its place, right? We moved on from putting it on the active wear on the back of the band, like the Gymshark Flex. We're just putting it somewhere else. This is definitely an oversized fit. I have my true size small. I'm gonna stick with it. If you're in between, I mean, it totally depends. It's a t-shirt. Do you want it extra oversized or do you want a little more snug? It's up to you. Now, I know I already reviewed the crossover legging in my previous Gymshark launch. So if you need a review on some crossover pieces, check out that video. However, I never actually got around to talking about the crossover sports bra. I actually did review it, a little mini review in my Instagram stories, but I mean, it's freaking Instagram. Number one, no one sees your content. Number two, it's only 24 hours. So I have the crossover sports bra in white in my true size small. I don't really know how in the world it says that this is only light support on Gymshark's website. No freaking way, dude. This is medium to high impact. You better believe it. This held me in so well and so snugly, but not uncomfortably. It's almost on the brim of being like a little too snug on me. So if you're in between, size up definitely. There's no adjustments here. You do have a breathable mesh backing similar to the power bra you just saw. You have removable pads as well. I think the key features here are the mesh panel on the front and the cross stitching. I think it gives a really unique touch to the piece. I still love the fact that they went very solid so you can mix and match. This is why I went with the white to be able to mix and match within different ranges. The straps are just thick enough to be comfortable for all day wear. I'm really thrilled to see Gymshark coming out with slides. First of all, I've been seeing this style everywhere. It's almost like those cloud slip-ons. These are very viral. This style is everywhere. These are honestly the only styles I wear nowadays when it comes to sandals and things like that. The inside of the slide is molded. It rises just a bit where the arch of your foot lies and there's a slight molding where your toes go. Right at the heel, you have a Gymshark long form text embossed into the shoe. Don't worry, you don't feel it when you're walking. <laughs> These are actually technically the rest day slides. That's how they label it. One of my favorite Gymshark collections right here, right now, especially when it comes to their athleisure and their sweats, is rest day collection. I seriously am collecting those sets like Pokemon at the moment. This is the icing on the cake for me. The bottoms are gripped and you have the shark face logo right on the bottom. This way, when you step into the sand on the beach, you can imprint a little shark face logo. You know what they're doing, free advertisement. Off to the sides, you also have another shark face logo. I think this is an overall really nice simplistic design. For example, they did not touch the top of the foot here. This design is a smooth canvas. You will not see any prints, logos, nothing. On the inside, underneath, where the top of your foot hits, there's an actual ribbing. It has just enough cushion to make this so very comfortable for all day wear. I'm already obsessed with these. I want one in every single color and they came out with quite a few colors, mind you. Toasted almond, had to go with the neutral. I actually grabbed the smallest size they offer. This was a, what, men's five slash women's six, I believe. When wearing them barefoot, there's at least a solid inch or so of extra space. But when walking, they're very comfortable. I don't feel like my feet are sliding. My feet feel very secure in them. However, I think they made them just oversized enough where you can comfortably wear them with socks. So I actually wore some Gymshark tube socks with these in the overlap footage and they fit comfortable. Each of these models wearing every single color was wearing socks with them. Everybody was wearing socks. This is how they're promoting them. It's rest day. So you're gonna wear them with your sweats and socks. You're gonna be a shooby. Now I am only seeing these slides on the US website. I'm not seeing them on any other country's website at the moment. So I'm hoping you guys get them too. Last but not least, you're gonna think I'm nuts, but I actually grabbed a bucket hat. <laughs> I got the white with the orange inside. So you can wear it either way. You can have it bright AF orange, like a freaking traffic cone, or how I'm gonna wear it, more or less, just white. Now, the tag is on the white side. I hope this comes off. Oh. We good. You have the shark face logo, a little gripped baby right on the side. There's really not a lot to talk about here. <laughs> It's a bucket hat, but this particular bucket hat is made for weather resistance. So this would be great for wearing at the beach. This material can easily be wiped off. It feels waterproof. This is what it looks like. Okay, sleek. 
Sharp? Look at Jim Sharp coming out with bug ass. What's next? And yo, might I add that whoever writes the descriptions on the Gymshark website for each individual piece, they crack me up sometimes. Everything's fine and dandy. You're scrolling down, reading everything about it, and then you get to the size and fit. Whoever wrote this <laughs> actually said, wear it on your head. Thank you for that, Gymshark. I had no clue where this was supposed to be worn. Now I know. Boy, oh boy, where would we be without that extra help? I just don't wanna know. But you can't go wrong with the white. I feel like the classic white will match with anything and then you can have some more fun with a pop of color on the other side. Now this is made from 100% recycled polyester, but I'm not seeing if there's any SPF or anything like that in it. Still wear your sunscreen. Don't you dare leave the house without it. Technically you should be wearing sunscreen indoors too. Sunscreen's actually an essential part of my skincare routine. I don't leave the house without it. Trust me, even though you're someone who's like, no, I wanna get tan on my face. I want the sun to penetrate as much as it can because I want my face to get tan. Believe me, it is a preventative. That tan will only last a few weeks, but that skin, you need it to last your whole life. Mic drop. <laughs> my favorite SPFs at the moment, if I'm going out, no makeup, or I'm chilling inside with no makeup. I love Tula. Tula sunscreen is so good. It's their protecting glow and it really does make your face glow, gives a real fresh, dewy, hydrating look. The second sunscreen that I use when I'm wearing makeup is the Ilia Super Serum, that skin tint. So it's a bunch of facial serums plus a skin tint and SPF. That one you can't go wrong with. That's what I wear, I put it all over my face and then apply my other makeup. And thirdly, for the rest of my body, I love Neutrogena. Every single one of their SPFs are amazing because they don't have a heavy oil base that makes your skin break out. So if I'm going to the beach, I don't just grab that like $1 beach bum crap, whatever the hell they sell. I hate to say it, but it is worth spending a couple extra dollars on a better sunscreen so you're not breaking out all summer long. Tula, Ilia, Neutrogena, they did not sponsor this video. I just really am passionate about skincare. <laughs> I really am. All right guys, so that concludes today's video. What did we think about these pieces? And let me know if you tried any of the new Gymshark Adapt Animal. Tell me your experience with the sizing. How did it go for you? Comment down below your favorite piece that you saw in today's video. And if you do use my Gymshark support code at checkout to save 10%, please let me know so I can personally thank you. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to use your sunscreen. I'll catch you in my next video.